Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make an American flag star shape in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off in Illustrator. First, we'll create a new document. So I'll come up here to create new, and then we'll go to print up here, and then letter, and then we'll create. All right, to create the flag part of this, I went out to the internet and found an image of a flag. So I'm going to place that into my document now. I'll go to File, Place, and then we'll place it. And now I'll just draw it in. Now I don't really want to select this, so I'm going to pull up my layers by going to Window and Layers. And if you don't have the same palettes over here, you can always come to Window and open those. All right. So we've got the flag on one layer, and now I'm going to create a new layer, and we'll lock the flag layer. And then I'm going to zoom in by hitting Z on my keyboard to bring me to this tool down here. And I'll just draw a box around what I want to see close up. And then I'll hit spacebar and move, um, move the graphic over a little bit. Next, I'm going to kind of make this a little bit faded out so it won't be so bright. So I'm going to unlock layer one and then I'll click the little circle beside it and we'll put the opacity to 80%. Okay, and then I'll relock it. And now I'll get on layer two and I'll hit M on my keyboard to bring me to the rectangle tool, which is right over here. So now I'm going to focus on the stripes. I'll hit Command minus to zoom out a little bit, and then I'll start drawing one of these stripes. Maybe we'll start from the bottom. I'll just click on a corner and drag over here. Then we'll come up here to color and I'll choose a red color. Now I'm going to need white stripes too. Oh, and I do have a stroke on here that I don't want. So I'll click on that stroke and then I'll just hit the none button. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in by hitting Z and drawing a um, rectangle. Now to do this next part, you'll need to turn on snap to point. So we'll go to view and then snap to point. Just make sure this is checked right here. Okay, so now I want this to line up exactly on top of this. So I'm gonna hit G to get to my group selection tool. Um, that is right underneath your direct selection tool. And sometimes G might not work for you. I'm not sure if that comes standard with Illustrator these days, but I have it set up to be G on my keyboard. Okay, so I'm gonna drag, I'm gonna click right on this point, start dragging, and then hold shift and option. And when I get close to this other point, you can see that the black changes to white. And when it does, that means you're right on that point and you've made a copy. And that's why there's two little arrows there. Then release. Okay. So if we hit command Y, that's control Y on a PC, they should be exactly lined up there. I'll hit command Y or control Y to get back. And now I'm going to change this to white. We'll click on the fill and then we'll choose white up here in color. Okay, so now I've got two bars. One is red and one is white. So I'm going to hit V on my keyboard to get my selection tool. I've already got the white one selected, but I'll hold shift and click on the red one. So now I have both of them selected. I'm going to command minus and then use my hand tool, that's spacebar, to move over. And now I'll do the same thing um, and grab the very bottom. So I'm going to hit G to get to my group selection tool. And then I'm going to click right on this dot, start dragging, and hold Shift and Option and come all the way over here to the top of that white. Once that little arrow turns white, you're snapped right on that point and you can release. And now to duplicate what you just did, you can hit Command D or Control D on a PC. And I'll just continue to do that to fill up the rest of these shapes. Um, we really only need seven red lines. So right now we have seven, which is great. We do not need that top white one though. 
And it looks like I made my rectangles a little smaller than the one on this flag. So I'm just going to, with my selection tool, select all of these by kind of drawing a box around them and then just drag them up to the top here like this. Okay. Now I'm going to hide this with command three. That's control three on a PC. Then I'll hit Z on my keyboard to get my zoom tool and we'll focus more on the stars. Okay. I'm going to hit M to get a rectangle. And I'll just start right up in the corner and drag it down. And then I'm going to choose a blue. Now I'll hide this with command three or control three on a PC. Now we want to get our star tool. It's right underneath your rectangle tool and it's right down here. And then we can click and drag and see how it's sort of a fatter star. We want the skinny star. So to do that, hold option or alt on a PC and you can see it kind of get thin and then get bigger, thin and bigger like that. And then if you want it straight up and down, hold shift. All of this is while you're still dragging. So if you messed up, you might have to start over. Okay. So I'm going to make it about the same size of that star and then release. And we'll come over here. Make sure you've clicked on the fill and we'll change this to white. I'll hit V to get back to my selection tool and I'll just click and move this one over. Okay. Now it's just a matter of clicking, dragging a little bit, and then holding shift and option to create a copy um, along the same plane. Now, if you're on a PC, that's going to be shift and alt. So if we hit command Y, it's kind of hard to see because we have our template there. But if we hit command Y, we can see we have two stars. That's control Y on a PC. And now we can hit command D to duplicate what we just did. Okay. Now you can see that it's a little bit off. So I'm going to hit V and I'll just shift and arrow these, this one over a little bit. So now I'm going to draw a box around all these stars with my selection tool, this one right over here. And we'll come down here to the align palette. We'll make sure align two is set to selection, not to artboard. So if you can't see this, just double click on the word align a few times. You'll get different sets of options when you do that. All right. So we have a line two set to selection and now we'll come to distribute spacing and we'll click on this horizontal distribute one. And now we'll even all those out. So they're exactly the same. Okay. Now I'm going to group this with command G that's control G on a PC. And now we will hold option and just drag this down. Oops. I'll just arrow it over. So now we have that second line. I'm going to use my A tool, which is my um, direct selection and click this one that we don't need and just hit delete twice. Because if I do this, it'll only get some of the points, but if I hit it twice, it'll get all the points. All right. If we hit command Y or control Y, we can see we have two rows of stars. So um, hit control Y or command Y to get back to your regular view. I'm going to hit V. I'm going to select those two rows. And then I'm going to drag an option and shift to get them exactly straight down and make a copy. So that would be alt shift and drag on a, on a PC. All right. And then we can hit command D and get our next rows of stars. I'm going to select these down here and delete those. Okay. And you can take the time to really get them exact, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to leave them like they are right now. Now we have some things that are hidden. We have background blue and then the red and white are all hidden right now. So to unhide them, you can hold alt control and the number three or option command three on a Mac. Okay. You can also go to option and show all it's right here. So we'll do that. And now we can see everything. So let's draw a box around these stripes and we'll group those with command G or control G on a PC. And then I'm going to draw a box around the blue and the stars. 
I'll hold shift and draw a box around those stripes so I don't select those. And then I'm going to group these with Command-G or Control-G on a PC. Now we'll select both of them and we can align to the left, which is this first one in the Align palette, and also align to the top. So everything is lined up now. I see that the blue is not exactly lined up with the red here, so I'm going to hit Z on my keyboard and draw a box around that area. I'll get my A tool, which is my direct selection tool right here. Click right on the edge of the blue. You have to be on the very edge so that you have white, a white point right here, and then move it up with your arrow keys. Okay, so we're pretty well done right now with the flag. I'm going to command minus and we don't really need um, this layer anymore because we have all the pieces and we don't need our our base layer so I'm going to unlock that and I'll just drag it to the trash okay so now we have our stars and stripes I'm going to command G or control G on a PC you can also go to object group but I really recommend you learn um, this keyboard shortcut because it is very handy. There's group and ungroup there. Okay. All right. So now we want to put this into a star. So let's get our star tool. This will be underneath your rectangle tool. And I'm just going to start right here and draw a star right along that blue line there. Um, we don't really need a fill on this, so I'm going to hit the None button right here. And now I'm going to zoom in, just draw a box around that. And I want this part up here to line up really well, so I'm going to just click on my star and drag it over. That's with my selection tool. Okay, Command minus. All right, it's looking pretty nice. Maybe I'll kind of make it a little bit smaller and move it up some. Okay, so whenever you're making a mask, you want everything on top to be one shape, and it is. Right now, it's just one shape. We have a path here. And then anything that's below it can be many shapes, but I like to group them. You don't actually have to do that. Okay, so now with your selection tool, grab both pieces, your background, which is the flag, and your star. Whatever the shapes are going to be put into, that piece, whatever it's going to be put into, has to be on top. So your star, which it is on top right now, since it's the last thing we drew, but if it's not on top, you'll want to go to Object, Arrange, Bring to Front. So we will do that and then select both. And then we can either hit Command 7 or Control 7 on a PC or go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. Now we have our cute little flag in a star shape. Right down here, um, we have a white stripe. So one way to fix this is to get your Group Selection tool and just click on the edge and we can hit D on our keyboard to add a white fill and a black background to that star shape. We can increase that and now we have a black outline around it so we don't have that problem. Now if we want to select the flag and move it around we can do that. We can get on our group selection tool and the way this tool works is if you click once you'll get one part of the group. If you click in the same spot, you'll get the next part. So now we have the stripes. And if you click another time in the same spot, you'll get the third part of the group. So it depends on how the group has been created. All right, so now we can move this around inside that star shape. Maybe we want it to be like this, where the stars go all the way across. And um, the reason it's not moving this star shape is because when we selected that with our group selection tool, we didn't click one more time and get that next part of the group, which is the star shape. All right, I think I like it right about where it was. That looks pretty nice. And that's it. Okay, so now you actually have two American flag graphics that you can use. The flag itself 
and a flag in a star shape. All right, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, thank you.